Okay, so um, ADHD, astrology, terology, why? What's it all about? Well, for me, I think that my life search has been trying to figure out how to do me. I always felt like I was out of place. And as a kid, I always thought, how, how can I be normal? I always wanted to be normal, be normal. That's like a pervasive question I always had. And I've always tried to be normal. But come to find out, every time I try and be normal, I get it wrong. I embarrass myself. And I'm not happy. So let's look into this a little more. Because for me, understanding this stuff. Oh, where's my gadget that moves with me? Understanding, um, let's see, here we go. Understanding the, this stuff. Come on, there it is. <laughs> oh, I have a gadget that moves with me. So all of this Kabbalah, and I do astrology with Kabbalah, with Enneagram, with Tarot. I do all of that, and I smoosh it together on all these diagrams to show you how these processes um, evolve uh, spiritually. So we evolve through these phases of um, of existence. And some up the top are very, you don't know. It's like magic. That's where the magic is outside and around. And as we form, as we, as the two gods, the male, female, the yin yang creators start forming, forming, forming. <laughs> oh, this is fun. I love this. All right. So see, then it goes down and then there's the very bottom of the chart. There you go. And then we're here right? And so we're alive on earth. That's the bottom one. That's the kingdom of gods. The two made into one. That's where we are. Okay. So then there's the next level. We start climbing back up the tree. See how that works? Well, anyway. Uh, so because of all the permutations of my astrology or mythology or kebology or terology, because of all of that, <sighs> I learn more about how to drive this vehicle. And we all have certain needs that are the same, which makes us like one. And then we all have unique parts of how to manage it. For instance, if you're going to say your body is like a car, um, okay, are you a Maserati or are you um, a truck? Are you uh, uh, an 18 wheeler? Are you built for uh, moving lots of stuff uh, far distances? Or are you um, a, a, a moped just designed to zip around in the neighborhood? You see, if you understand how this functions for you, you get your power. Because power isn't just some rich guy with a big stick or all the money in his pockets or the nice home. Power is not that. It's not what you have, it's how you manipulate, use, and treasure, and profit from your own vehicle. In other words, what kind of a car are you? How, what do you drive, right? So I always like to say it's Mars, how you do your Mars. Well, mm, see, Mars is here, and that Mars is, Fuck it or kill it energy. It's like, ah, how did you go and drive into stuff, right? So, hmm, I don't know. I say, my Mars is in Virgo, so I drive my car strategically. Like, I know when I'm driving that I'm going to go to a street over there that's one way. So I have to go around the block so I can park strategically on my side of the street without having to pull an unsafe U turn to get parking up. You see? Blah, blah. How? But now that's not just for the car. That's not just literally for the literal car. No, that is also for um, how I manage life. And with ADHD, there's all these permutations of um, focus. Uh, this, is, this is the brain, the part of the brain that is the adult part. And it looks into the future. Well, guess what? I never understood why. Throughout my whole life, I was like, I, what's the future? I never even thought of that. What's going to happen to me? Not once. Not until like a few years ago when I got really old. And then I'm like, oh, what the fuck? Uh, okay, so here it is, right? I mean, you go through all this stuff and you never stop going through 
your exploration of yourself, your environment, and the total thing, all of it. <laughs> oh, this is great. So anyway, I'm going to start doing more ADHD related with metaphysical stuff for you because I think, like, if I explain to you how any success I've had is because I've learned to prioritize and strategize through my understanding of my chart, of my metaphysical stuff, and that's helped me in the physical world. And so as far as the sciencey part goes and proving stuff, well, I'm living proof that understanding some of these metaphysical technologies, you might call them, is really fruitful. Because, I mean, you should have seen my poor mother. She was, um, I know she had to be. I mean, I watched the, 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 the ADHD lady doctor talking about all these levels of women and all of their, uh, pr you know, all the permutations. And, and it's, I have to read it. I can't remember. Anyway, so we're going to get into this. And I'm going to be doing terology because that's fun. And I think fun is good for learning and retaining some of these technologies. And this is just life technology, but it's related to your metaphysical. I don't want to call it technology. You help me. Give me a word. <laughs> I need a word for this. Your, your daily technology, your strategies, uh, with some guidance from your metaphysical makers. Help me on that. All right, soon. This is seven minutes. That's enough. All right. Bye.